Hey yo, welcome back to Davido. I tested the audio, it sounded good before the episode. Let's hope no disaster happens in between. Hey, we're gonna be fighting God King. God's King's God. God Slime. Cause I need to get weapons from him. That's gonna be the goal of this episode. We're not gonna be finding the wall flesh yet. We're gonna be uh attempting to just get Attempting to just get all the weapons that I know of that are remaining. So yeah, that's pretty much the goal. How come these guys drop Nazars? But that's the goal, plain and simple, right? Because I don't want to do too much progress yet. Because uh, there's a couple things we got to get done. Where the fuck is this dude at? Oh wait, let's use our carnage rays. Get out of here. Whoa, I'm floating. So this guy has two magic weapons to offer. Let's see if we can get any of them. Of course not. Oh wait, no, we did get one. Abyssal Tome. There we go. Abyssal Tome. So now we just need the Eldritch Tome from him. My phone vibrate. Hold up. Nothing important. Okay. Let's sell all this stuff we don't need, obviously. I don't need that. I did not make the armor yet. So that's something we gotta do. Yeah, we sell all that. All of that. Sell that. Someone said I couldn't beat this... Fuck. I couldn't beat this boss without David Staff and Antisocial. So I might as well do a, a supposed challenge, right? Let's put on everything we need. Do we really need this? I don't even know if we really need that. What about this? Increase health and mana regen, take more than three damage. I think just having this one might be better. Honestly. Having that extra mana? And then just give me the abyssal tome on that. And then let's go ahead. Let's reforge. Except I never reforge these. I just keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting. That's already pretty pretty decent. Is there anything else I haven't reforged yet? This. Ooh, mystic. And this. Masterful. Ooh. Okay. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do this. Magna Cannon. Say hello to my Magna Cannon. Ow. Say hello to my Flare Bolt. Hope y'all like Flare Bolts. What AI do these guys have? They got like a, like a mimic type AI. That's what it feels like. What hit me? Um, the Carnage. Carnage. Say hello to my Carnage Ray. What am I life stealing off of? Oh, the Carnage Ray does lifesteal? I never even knew that. <laughs> Wait, does it? No. What the hell was doing the lifesteal thing then? Someone was doing lifesteal. Say hello to my walk into damage. Alright, I should probably heal. I probably should heal. There you go. I, I hit the heal button. Nothing happened. I need a better arena, honestly. I feel like my arena is kind of ass. Alright, let's just use, like, I don't know, this. Clouds. No, clouds, this, like whatever, whatever weapon. The next thing is going to be like, you probably can't beat the boss without the anti-social mod staff of David armor. Any good staff, you can't beat the boss without wand of sparking. I don't know why people think I would have such a hard time beating this boss without anti-social. It's just a little something to spice up the game. I know some things are going to be easier, but it's also going to be fun to see like... A bunch of accessories combined together. I know, I'm sorry, I'm talking about this game, but like, people are still on this shit. Like, I bet I could probably beat this boss using a lot of weapons. Probably be very slow. I use some of my weaker weapons in the kit. But like, I mean, I'd still beat the boss. I hate this fucking flight shit. That's so annoying. Murder this man. This is not the weapon to do it with. Get clouds everywhere. Don't you make me fucking fly again. Oh. You can curse me, but don't make me don't make me don't make me fly against my will. There you go, I killed him. Then use Staff of David. Alright, please give me the Eldritch Tome though. Please don't give me anything. There we go. Ooh, I hit enter. There we go. We done got it. No, that's not it. Right here. Mystic Eldritch Tome. Everything else I don't really care about. That's a lot of gold we're gonna get. Alright, so there we have it. Mythical. Nice. 
Get rid of the staff. I don't even know why I made this. I, like, never use it. Is this the one that's used? Okay, at least it's using this. We'll probably be making that this episode. More than likely. Which staff do I have? It's this one, right? So let's get all of this. Oh, hold up. Let me, let me accomplish my goal first. And that is to make the armor set, which I need Hellstone for. Don't know if I have enough Hellstone. I think we do, though. We should. I hope. I don't know. It's not like it's a hard task to go down there and mine. Uh, sh let's start with the cap. Bam. Bam. Fuck, we do not have enough. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> let's just run down there real quick. Should not take long. Should take a good, good, uh, I'll say a minute. Minute and a, and a half. Probably. How many times does this bounce? Three? Was that three? I thought it'd be more because it's stronger than the water bolt. I expected more. Plain and simple. Is there a hard mode water bolt? There wasn't tremor, wasn't there? Or is there like another hard mode water bolt? Like from any other mods? I guess there is. Isn't it the, like the fire and frost bolt one? The one that combines them together? Pretty sure that's like the hard mode variant. How do I get that? I guess we can just go like right around here. Boom, nice and easy. Don't you fucking touch it. Just mine as much as I can and then we'll magnetize it later once we're all done. Oh, who put this hard mode ore down here? From Somebody told me that the hard mode ore kind of just generates. Uh, because they don't want it to generate when you kill bosses or something like that. Calamity doesn't want it to generate when you kill bosses. I don't know. There's probably some more logic to it that I don't know. But it's fine. It just seems odd that hard mode ore is generating before hard mode. Kind of like the old, the old way of doing it. But uh, whatever helps either with... How the game operates, optimizations and shit, whatever works. Calamity do you. I hate these fucking lava slimes. They're so annoying. Alright, let's craft it. Chest plate. Oh fuck, I put the put the gel away. Chest plate. No, we got the chest plate. Pants. There we go, we finally have a new set of armor. I've been wearing the same set for the longest time. Our defense is gonna be pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty good. Think I can hang up this armor? I bet I can't. Uh, we'll try it. We will try to put it up. Oh, can't see it. There you go. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Oh, it didn't break it. Ooh, I think Thorium is probably the one of the one of the best to not break it. I think that's like the one that's consistent. All right, so let's see here. Ash blocks. I don't really need that. I guess off camera, I'm gonna start building the uh, bridge, the hell bridge. This is like that shadow flame doll. This, pretty much what the god slime does itself with the balls. I don't need this magna cannon. All right, so what? Yeah, what do I need for this? So boom, I got that. Got that. Where's my high tide? Don't I have two high tides? Yeah, I do. And then I need the jungle staff right there. So that's at a demon altar. I guess we get like more. Fuck. Can I make another one? Shit, I don't think I can make another one. I gotta go mine more hellstone. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so gold. Let's do something else. So Eldritch Tome, we got that. Abyssal Tome, we got that. Next, we're gonna head. I need, I need, I need something for this. Need multiple things for this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna take off, but we'll figure out when we get there. We're gonna grab some accessories here. Uh, which one? Grants underwater breathing, grants the ability to swim. Here we go. We're gonna grab this. Wild sea breeze pendant, because we are going to the ocean depths. Hooray! Not before we stop and, of course, craft this. Lights lament. Boom bada bing. Some is a Starfield 
by pure twilight when the star collides the tile will unleash a star surge only one star surge may be active at once no fucking clue what this shit is talking about Ooh, okay those go through the floor too nice i like it i like it i can be pretty good against bosses that don't move too much the wall of flesh if i can like plan a shot on it it'd be pretty damn good do a little of that the wall flesh is coming towards it bam he's gonna take a hit so i'm guessing if you do one star surge it'll cancel the other one like if you start a new one while the old one's going it'll cancel it okay okay i see you well what, what should i replace this with probably this yeah that works all right let's head on under we're gonna get some nice good old loot down here now there's two items we're looking for one of them we gotta craft the other we find in a chest now i don't know how easy it is finding stuff in chests here but let's let's get a let's get a going here get this aquite don't know if this is what we need for it geyser staff that's the that's the one we crashed back up before i use this fire underwater you bastard okay let's see if it's aqua um hello geyser staff 15 yeah okay we got it we got it no problem i need the sticky ones i'm just gonna do this so high what a weird ass thing okay sticky glow six is that's how you roll when you're down here in the depths down in the depths is this cursed oh it's this <laughs> i was like what's going on here that's fine if i'm losing health Drink those though. Hold up, what was I about to do? I was about to do this. So sand doesn't fall when I mine. I mean, the sand still fell. I don't want all the sand falling. Let's just let's just be careful. Oh. Almost mined all that. Just be careful. Don't want all the sand to drop down. Now, people always ask all the time, like, Stab David's your best weapon. Why don't you use it? That's the main reason why. Oh my god. We're stuck. We're stuck. Sorry, I didn't want to do that. Uh, that's the main reason why. It's like really strong. AKY, okay, well, I don't want to use it. Now, it sounds weird. Like, wait, what? It's your best weapon. Why don't you not want to use it? It's very strong. <laughs> I know I'm just repeating myself, but think about it. Insta killing everything would not be as fun as not insta killing anything, believe it or not. Now, if I choose that I want to insta kill something, then yeah. I'll be like, hey, let's uh, pop, pop, pow, you know, insta kill it. But sometimes I wanna, I want the fight to play out. So maybe I'll throw in a staff of David beam here and there. But I don't want the fights to just be me zapping something to death the whole time. Like, boop. Look, look at that. That's no fun. I wanna aim and shit. I mean, yeah, I gotta aim a little bit with a staff of David, but that's just like a fucking just beam. That's what we call uh what everyone's been saying the uh last prism early game early game last prism i'm pretty sure this gets better than the last prism positive actually i think so i don't know no i'm gonna say i'm positive I'm positive it gets stronger than the last prism because of how legendaries work so it's we're gonna be using it for a while and it'll have its moments to shine when i really need it the most maybe against a dog maybe against uh providence all those guys in the ooh, I accidentally healed. all those guys in the future that's probably when we're gonna need it the most so it'll be more useful when we get around that time i think what i'm actually gonna do before we fight the wall flesh is make even though i don't think we're gonna really need it maybe i'll use the stafford david on the wall flesh i don't know but uh i'm probably gonna get some honey fins the things that heal 120 health just to fight him man and jelly didn't I hear something like that? No, I got pink ones. Was it? Standing still boost mana again. Pretty good. I want to get all of those accessories. A little accessories from Calamity. All the ones that we can't get in pre-hardware. 
And there was one in the last episode where I was like, oh, this should be easy to get. Pretty hard mode, other than you needed the ancient manipulator. Oops, my bad. I didn't see that. Do I have regular glow sticks again? Is there any damn chest down here? That's what I came here for. I didn't come here to mine aqua the whole time. Oh, here we go. They heard the calls. They heard the calls for the chest. Oh, hell yeah. My favorite. Here in the next update for Thorium, this place is getting like a whole revamp popping off. Which, that sounds pretty dope. Uh, not exactly a revamp, but like more life to it. Because it is like kind of plain and boring if you look at it. I thought it says only one Star Barrage can happen at a time. There's like two of them happen at once. So there's like one way over there to the right and there's one right next to me. But yeah, like getting more like plants and stuff. I think there's more monsters. I think more hard mode monsters. I don't remember exactly. You know what? This needs a lot more fucking chests. Because I've never seen any goddamn chests. I've seen like one so far. <laughs> I've explored quite a bit. This is pretty much like a dungeon. Aqua dungeon. Aqua depths. Aquatic depths if we want to be exact here. This is where I wish I had my lantern that I never used. Which would be pretty damn useful right now. Being able to see around me. Am I still using these goddamn regular glow sticks? Like, get these out of here. Some glow sticks that stick. Glow sticks to the wall, you know? I have a good feeling down here. I have a good feeling about there being a chest this direction. Watch. Watch and see and learn. Don't touch me, though. Oh. Don't touch me, though. I don't fucks with that. Oh, I'll just do like 10 glow sticks. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on. You you guys are next. No damn chest. I feel like it's my problem with this biome. I can never find enough chests here. Am I like exploring it the wrong way? Is there a certain way you gotta explore this biome? Boom. This is the one right here. This chest just hidden by itself up here. What did I tell you? Not completely useless. All these chests are like hidden by themselves. Thank God for the staff. Staff definitely helps a lot. But look at this. They're all just hidden by themselves. <laughs> There's that one over there. I had to go up to get that one. And then this one right here. Right next to the same one. But like right next to the other one. was still kind of hidden. You cough it up. Cough it up. Fuck you, game. I swear to God, this could be the one. Right here. Right here. Oh, oh I saw some. I saw some. Hey, Magic Conch. Good old Magic Conch. I remember you from SpongeBob. All right, let's make the Geyser Staff, too. I don't even remember what the hell the Geyser Staff does. But let's hope it's amazing. So this is the range set, right? And then this is just like a defense. I guess this that was the melee set. Pretty much. What's the pickaxe do? 85? You know, I don't think anything's going to beat, beat my Reaver Shark. Geyser staff broken. That's pretty damn cool. That's pretty damn cool. Of course, the magic conch bubbles probably less useful, honestly. Bubbles go pretty far though. Uh, what was I about to do? I think I should sell the rest of aqua. Right? Probably not gonna be needing the ore itself anytime soon. There's not too much else you can do. Probably like this is probably the next thing we're gonna need, and that's about it. Yeah, that looks like looks like about it. Just some keys. So we can toss that baby in here. Pearls, on the other hand, are these used for anything? Is that armor set? That's about it, too. Yeah, just the armor set. And maybe some furniture, even though I probably won't be fucking with furniture anytime soon. So we can stuff those in there. Glow sticks. Uh, I don't know, just have those. What about depth scales? These gonna be used for anything? Pretty much the same set. Shit. Same exact shit as everything else. So toss these babies in here too. Spring water, that's gonna be useful. Maybe I don't even have to catch Honeyfin because I got spring water. Which heals for 125. Uh, not craftable though. It's only found in the depths. So there's that. Um, bunch of accessories that I can't fit in here. This is very true. I don't have places I can put accessories. Take the cement. Take the cement out. We can put 
We put that back on. Agnor's bowl. Like, what the fuck? Why do I have this? Through the vine book. We'll make another one if we ever need to. And the wall. Nope. And the cement wall stuff put that in there. Let's reforge. We pretty much have every weapon I want, though. There's the teeth spell we get from the zombie. I'm not going to use it, though. And there's Grave Buster, which we get from Patchwork. And obviously, I don't ever get Blood Moons, apparently, in this world. So, I don't think we're ever going to see that in action. Uh, I have had, I have used it before, though. So, uh, you can never say I never used it. Question is, what do we get rid of? Shade Rain? I think possibly Shade Rain is the next one we get rid of. And then... This is more of a lantern now. <laughs> more of something to light the way. Even though I probably won't be using this magic conch shell too much. Let's just use it. That's not bad. The high mana cost isn't even that bad either. But let's use it. Let's use this stuff on a boss. Still don't have a lot of boss mass. Like barely in it, uh, any. So let's use some I Cthulhu's. I have his skull, thank god. Uh, skull? Mask. That, I guess just I Cthulhu. Might as well. Come on, I Cthulhu. New weapons, activate. If these things don't destroy him, then what will? No, these are pretty good. The bubble's pretty good. DPS just seems straight up. This is what you look for in DPS. Just straight up. Pow, pow, pow. You know? All right, now, Geyser Staff, your turn. Where is he? Wait, what? It's only on the floor? What the heck? All right, that lost all its usefulness. Really quick. I'm very sorry. This can be pretty useful. If I can get him to turn. Start turning. This actually doesn't do that much damage. But it's not terrible. It's killing him. I barely had to like aim to kill him. Alright, and then of course these two, which we I expect these two to like rock this dude. That's that's doing some easy damage. This explodes after a while? I think if it hits it a bunch of times, hits something a bunch of times, it explodes and then over time it also explodes. That's pretty that's pretty useful. I like those two. Very nice and easy to use. Don't know about the geyser stuff. If it only does it on the floor, I don't think it's really worth having. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, it's probably good for like invasions or something. Maybe it's good against the scourge. Scourge, scourge. Let's go see. Cause uh, he's a worm and he's on the floor, so like. Never know. Yeah. Not bad. Seems like it's only like. I mean, it can be useful on flat lands. I don't know about not flat lands, though. It's kind of like David Staff in a way. When, like, if you hit something, the beam just stops. Like that. But, like, a little bit worse. <laughs> Doesn't got that David Staff damage. Alright, come on. Walk into the beam. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably not gonna use this. I thought it was really good because I thought you can just free him in wherever you want. But obviously, I thought wrong. I thought that before I actually tested it out, and it's not. It's not the way out. It's not how I wanted it. That's fine. That nasty sun spray. It's kind of nasty to use. It's not the greatest. Hey, I feel like we've gotten his mask in this playthrough. But there we go. We got another one. What about I Cthulhu? No, I Cthulhu mask for you. Thanks. Appreciate it very much. 